improper fractions and mixed numbers. The big idea is that fractions that are greater than one can be written as either improper fractions or mixed numbers. In this model, we see that each of the squares is broken up into four pieces. That's why four is the denominator. And then in order to get the numerator, we have to count the total number that are shaded in. Four, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this fraction can be written as 15 fourths, or we see that there are three holes, and in the last square, three fourths of the pieces are shaded in. So 15 fourths is the improper fraction, and three and three fourths is the mixed number. On a number line, we can um, also find an improper fraction or a mixed number. First thing you have to do when reading a number line and determining the fraction is figure out how many pieces the one whole is broken into. From zero to one is one whole, and there are one, two, three, four, five sections between there. So that means that this number line is broken up into fifths. And then, so this would be five here, five fifths to the one whole, ten fifths to the two holes, and then one more would be eleven. So eleven fifths is also equal to two, there's the whole number, and it's just one fifth past two holes. So this fraction, the point on this number line can be written as the improper fraction 11 fifteenths, or the whole number two and one fifth. There will be times where you have to convert back and forth between improper fractions to mixed numbers. So we have here 11 fourths. And if we were thinking about this, that in fraction towers, that would be like we stuck 11 1 fourth pieces together. Um, in order to figure out what that would be in a whole number, you can think about pulling out um, a, an amount of fourths that was equal to one whole. At, so first I would take away 4 fourths, which are equal to one whole. So I'm going to pull out 4 fourths. And then I have more, so I'm going to take out another 4 fourths. And I don't have enough left to make another um, one whole. So I have, I write what I have left, which is 3 fourths. And to check it, 4 plus 4 is 8, 9, 10, 11. So that does equal 11 fourths. So when I read this, this is, here's a hole and here's a hole. That is two holes and three-fourths. So the improper fraction written as a mixed number is two and three-fourths. I can do the same with ten-thirds. I'm going to think about one whole being three-thirds. I can pull out a one whole, pull out another one whole, that would be six-thirds. Pull out another one whole, that would be nine-thirds. I have ten, so that would leave me one remaining. So this is one, two, three holes and one-third left. So the improper fraction ten-thirds change into a mixed number is three and one-third. So the steps that I was following in summary was to rewrite the fraction as an addition problem by pulling out as many groups equal to one whole as you can. Here you can see I was able to pull out three groups of one whole, which is why my whole, num my whole number was three. Here I was able to pull out two groups equal to one whole, which is why my whole number was two. There is a shortcut that you can use um, if you don't like that method um, all that will help you turn improper fractions into mixed numbers. We learned from the very beginning that fractions can be written as um, division problems. So this is really 11 divided by 4. And then we can solve it. 4 goes into 11 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8. The remainder is 3. So from here, we can find our answer. The answer is 2. The, the quotient becomes your whole number. The remainder becomes your numerator. And the divisor stays the, divisor stays the same that it was. So 11 fourths is the same as 2 and 3 fourths. Let's follow those steps again. Rewrite the problem as a division statement. 10 divided by 3. 3 goes into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. I get 1 is my remainder, so then I find my answer. The quotient is your whole number, the remainder is your divisor, and your 
um, your denominator stays the same. Your remainder is your numerator, said that wrong, and the, de the denominator stays the same. So the answer is 3 and 1 third. So to summarize the steps that I was just following, turn the improper fraction into a division problem. The steps you will follow is um, after it's a division problem, then your quotient or your answer becomes the whole number, your remainder here becomes your numerator, and the denominator stays the same as it already was. Sometimes you have to go the opposite way. Sometimes you have to turn mixed numbers into improper fractions in order to be able to use them. So you can think about this two holes using the same denominator that our fraction has. So um, I'm going to think about it like one hole and another one hole. I wrote it two times, seven sevenths, because my whole number was two. And then I would have the fraction piece three sevenths left over. The 7 plus 7 is 14, 15, 16, 17. So 2 and 3 sevenths, written as an improper fraction, is 17 sevenths. Here I'm going to think about the one whole fraction that I need would be 4 fourths, because my um, fraction is broken up into fourths. But I don't want to have to write 4 fourths plus 4 fourths plus 5 different times. That would be too much. Here I had to, only had to do it twice because my whole number was 2. I don't want to have to write it over and over, so I'm going to show it as a multiplication problem, five times this one whole. And then I'm going to keep my fraction piece, which is three-fourths. Five times four-fourths would give me twenty-fourths. I just multiplied my whole number times my numerator. I still have the three-fourths piece, so my total is twenty-three-fourths. I just added the numerators together. So the steps that I followed is to first ask myself, what's the one whole fraction that has the same denominator as the fraction I'm starting with? So here, I was starting with fourths. The one whole fraction that uses fourths is four fourths. And then I'm going to multiply this one whole fraction by the whole number. I did five times four fourths there. Then I'm going to add this answer to the fraction piece that I already started with. Got 23 fourths. Here is another shortcut that you can use in order to turn mixed numbers into improper fractions. And it looks like this. You're going to first multiply the denominator by the whole number. So I'm going to do 7 times 2 gives me 14. And then the second step is to add the numerator to what you, the product you already got. 14 plus this 3 would be 17. This number becomes your numerator, and your denominator is the same as what you already started with. So 2 and, th two and 3 sevenths, in, written as an improper fraction, is 17 sevenths. Let's do the same steps down here. I'm going to multiply my denominator by my whole number. So 4 times 5 is 20. And then to that 20, I'm going to add the 3, which is the numerator, and get 23. So this fraction can be written as 23, and I'm going to keep the same denominator. 23 fourths. So the steps that I followed for this shortcut are that the denominator stays the same as it already was. Here it was sevenths, here it was fourths. In order to get the numerator, you're going to multiply the denominator times the whole number, and then whatever your answer is to that, you're going to add the numerator to it. So take this product and add the numerator to it, and that becomes your numerator.